Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vlog and thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this week I had the start of the vlog and then this um, office makeover planned all in one vlog and I realized that it was quite long and I have a lot on my plate at the moment so I decided to split the vlog into two parts and this video is just focused on the makeover of this room um, and then next week's vlog will be more of a daily weekly vlog so yeah I kind of wanted to separate both the interior update and makeover of this office and the weekly vlog so I hope you will enjoy it I had a lot of fun filming it and Let's get into the video. So a few months ago, I decided that I was going to renovate a few things in the apartment and I ordered a new dining table. Like I had a few changes here and there. I reorganized certain spaces and I had this collaboration with Tilco. Unfortunately, the piece of furniture that I ordered from them and that they kindly gifted me got stuck in customs and so Long story short, it's only gotten delivered this week. Um, so I'm really, really excited and I've been waiting very long for this. And yeah, I'm just so happy that it's finally here and that I can finally start building it. This is something that was gifted to me. I will put a link down in the description um, if you like the design of it and Tilka, which the great thing about it is, is that it's like all customizable in terms of sizing so that you can take your own measurements in your home and then they make it like up to your sizes and then you can choose the colors, you can choose um, the sections, if you want drawers, door, open things, back um, panels. So uh, let's try and build that. Um, here we're in my office which I've changed a bit the background. If you've not seen, not last vlog, but the one before about my daily routines, um, I've shared that like I've changed a few things in this space and now my office has become, well, my office. And that side on the back is more of my like morning routine and ritual room and practice room. I'm gonna try and build this now. Oh, great. That is the assembly thing. That's what I mean. I was really scared of. Awesome. Perfect. So it comes with a manual. No matter what you order, it will come with a little manual. And what's really, really nice as well is that each piece is like, there's a sticker on it saying what section and where it's supposed to go. So it makes the building process a lot easier. Yesterday I started building the Tilco shelf, but as I was building it, I realized that the things weren't aligned properly and that was because I was supposed to use a hammer to really get that stuff like fixed in there. And when I started doing that, I realized that wait, it's way too loud to do that on a Sunday. So I stopped and I said I was gonna pick it up today and rebuild and re like align everything today and it's 10 30 a.m on a monday i think it's late enough for me to make some noise there's outside construction as well so a little bit of noise here and there well well it's just it's just a shelf so that's what i'm going to be doing now um and i'll show you when
I'm done building it. I'm so happy with it. I think it's it came out so pretty. Um, it's just a perfect size as well, and it would fit perfect in the living room too. Um, I have a few things, and I'm unsure like how I want to style it. Here I have my little like journaling spot, and then there I have my yoga spot, and where you guys are at is my working area. Um, so yeah, that's it for <laughs> the update. I'm gonna give you guys a tour so you can see it like better. So I got completely carried away today. Um, I finished building the thing and I was about to show you and then Ross came, we made lunch, had lunch together. And then, yeah, I just got like distracted went and did a few things, went to the lake um, where I finished my book, actually. I finished reading A New Earth, finally. Um, I'll show a little bit more when I take time to sit down, but right now I'm gonna make dinner. But before I go make dinner, I want to show you this new space and how it came out. So let me give you a little bit of a tour. So, when you enter the room, you see um, there's this table and this little cushion, which I use for sitting down and meditation. Um, and so that's my little table where I journal. It's very simple, like it's... <laughs> but for now, it's what I have. And I... Yeah, for me, it doesn't make sense to invest like and to re-renovate the whole apartment because I don't know for how much longer I'm going to be here. And yeah, here I have some pens. Uh, I have the Daily Stoic book, which is something that I read every morning. And I have my journal. So that's my little writing spot and reading spot in the morning. And then over there in the corner, I have uh, my yoga mats. I have a foam roller, a blanket, a yoga block. Um, some things like that and I have this lamp which I think fits really nice in this space here I'm very pleased with it and I put the telco shelf and I started decorating a little bit of it it might change but for now that's what I'm gonna do I haven't put anything in the drawers yet um, I'm gonna organize this later but I really love the look of this wall because it was all white there initially and I was thinking of putting a couch, but then I was like, no, it doesn't make any sense. And I think like just this piece of furniture, even though it wasn't planned to be used in this room initially, um, in the end it works perfectly. And I'm so happy with this room. I feel like that's the most, one of the, like, it was never my favorite rooms ever since I moved in here. It was my least favorite one. And now I can finally have a workspace and me space that I love so much and I created myself and I'm just, so happy with it like I never thought it was going to come out so beautifully and it wasn't really planned especially that piece so yeah I'm just very happy but for now um I have just my essential oil diffuser some essential oils in this little basket I put some dried eucalyptus uh in a little vase and then down there I have some um, donut tart books that I really want to read at some point and a tarot card kit I don't know what you call it it's from Ross um, I don't use it much but I thought it would fit really nice in this space and yeah it's where I practice yoga meditation here I have a little uh, lavender candle which is more there for decoration purposes and I think it would suit really nice with those um, books that I put there, which is um, Minimal from Madeline Olivia. Uh, it's a book I haven't read yet, but I'm really excited to. And I think it's going to be a beautiful coffee table book or book to store in here. How to, li how to simplify your life and live sustainably. Very excited to get into it. And then I have also here The Architecture of Happiness, which is also beautiful. Uh, coffee table book that I have so I put both of them here for now and then on top here I have a big candle which I use 
every morning when I practice in here, my little, um, this is a yoga oil, yoga perfume oil with uh, a lot of essential oils in it. It smells really, really nice. And that's something that when this finishes, I'm, I'm going to try and make one myself. Very, very nice. I have this slow label Palo Santo stick, um, which I use quite a bit. And some matches, and then in the corner I have this really pretty um, plant stand. I was gonna say pretty plant, but this plant has not been the happiest in this apartment, let's say that. Um, I don't know what to do. It started doing well, and then recently it didn't do so well anymore, so. Yeah, if you, any of you guys have that plant and have any recommendations, one of the recommendations that I received was to put somewhere in the shade where it doesn't receive much light. Um, I think it's in one of the darkest corner of the room, so for that I'm doing good. I don't know how much to water it. Um, I feel like I wore it during quite regularly, but maybe I'm not. I don't know. I love the, the stand. Uh, it's from the Na Nave shop, I think. Uh, where they have a few like design pieces. I've had it for a while. And if you turn around, over here is my workspace and office space. Um, I still have this old chair. I'm looking to replace it, but um, as I said, I might be moving in the next six months to a year. So it doesn't make sense for me to replace it right now. Um, and then I have my desk, which is some tiptoe um, legs and then just a big um, piece of wood that I got at like a home stores or building stores. Yeah, more so building stores. And I have my laptop and my display, um, my bullet journal and a pen. I need to sand this wood, but again, this is something that I might be doing maybe this winter. Uh, we'll see. And then I have some current books, so this one I just finished. And then I just started reading Sapiens today, which uh, we'll see how it goes, but it might be my, my the book that I'm going to be reading now. Uh, I need to break a bit from like spirituality book for a little bit. And then I have make milk and honey. Um, it's actually from a friend and I want to read it so I can give it back to her. And I read the other one recently, so I'd like to read that one. So I also took this in case I want to break from this. And then here I just have my printer and charging station with camera and some work things. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is my new little space. And this is really like my own room which is really nice like that doesn't mean no one else is allowed in here but it's really like my room where i do my practice and where i work and where i spend time on my own so i just really really love it um yeah it's just awesome i'm so happy with it and if i was gonna stay here like long term i would probably put like a little sofa um a little like nice chair to sit in to read a book like create a really little, little reading nook but as i said I don't know, but I might be moving in the, within the next year or so. And also, I'm not going to be here much in the next months. I'm going to explain more about this in the rest of the video. But um, yeah, long story short, it doesn't make sense for me to invest in furniture and decorate this space when I know or I'm pretty sure that I might be moving out. Um, at some relatively soon point in the future. So that is it for my new office space. I'm just so happy with how it came out and there's still a few things here and there that I tweak and change. I just put this beautiful plant on the heater because um, just to add something in this space and hide this old heater a little bit um yeah thank you so much for watching this video i really really hope you enjoyed it and if you're um thinking of renovating your office or a place in your home hopefully that gave you some ideas maybe i also received a few questions regarding the tiptoe legs for the table and i bought the wood separately for my desk and the legs 
from tiptoe are really really sturdy they are expensive but in my experience like it's not moved at all and my desk is extremely stable um so yeah i've been extremely happy with it and i can really vouch for them even on thicker and larger pieces of wood so yeah um i wish you all a really lovely sunday and i'll see you next week bye